Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Misner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at creating a vintage sepia type look inside of DaVinci Resolve. So without further ado, let's hop on in there. So we've got this clip of my buddy David here, just talking on the cell phone, looking cool. We're going to start by creating a new node because that's the way I like to do things. I'm going to sort of get our luminance the way that we want it. So I'm going to start with gamma this time, just because I'm feeling cheeky and sort of bring those guys down. I'm not going to bring it down all the way because this is going to vintagey look. So I want to lose a little bit of uh, information there. And let's bring the gain way up. Make it not that bright. I mean, it's inside. You're not going to be blowing out. But that's looking good. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to move our offset towards the orange thing. And you're saying, Theo, I understand what you're doing, but this looks terrible. I'm, I'm going to tell you, YouTube audience to calm down because we're not done yet. What the magic sauce is, is bringing the saturation down. So now you see, now you see what's going on. We've got some sepia action happening. And you can change this around. You want a little bit warmer sepia, a little cooler sepia. So I like right around there. And we'll bring this down even a little bit more. These blacks going down a little bit. My gamma up some. Sweet. Very short, very quick and to the point. Easy, easy thing to do, but you know, not always the most intuitive thing. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Share it if you're into that. Meast New Media has social media stuff in the description. I've been Theo. Subscribe to Meast New Media if you want to see more stuff like this. Not all of it is this short. But, you know, it's fun anyway. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.